Um, good morning, everybody. So, um, welcome to our digital visioning event, which a um, uh, fancy title. What it means is, um, are we getting ready for what um, technology will look like in 10 years' time? So when you, when you set up a project, you form a team, you bring people, you know, it's a new project, you get developers, you get BAs, you get whoever's going to be the, the domain owner in that together. And when you form them, they're not a team that are gathering. I would never call them a team because they, they may know each other, but they don't work together all the time. With a product-centric approach or a dedicated team approach, what you have is this team works together all the time. So they just work on this product. It never changes. So they know each other, they know how each other operates, they know how to wind each other up. Um, they know how the process works and they become this oiled machine. This, I call them sausage machines. They become this sausage machine. Work comes from the business and they just fish it out because this is their area of expertise. They build up long term relationships and, and that will improve quality, efficiency, and productivity. Why does it do that? Because a team like this looks after the full life cycle. So you don't have uh, developers throwing it over the wall to deployment, deployment throwing it over the wall to support and going, oh, not my problem, support, I'm going to have to deal with all that crap over it. That doesn't exist because they have to do everything. It's a full life cycle. They build it, they support it, they do everything for it. So they've got to think about it. If, they, if they've got to support it, they're going to think, mm, am I going to lash this out or am I going to do this properly so I don't have a pain in my butt further down the road? And that, and that really drives that accountability. So, so for me, that whole, there's, there's other technological uh, reasons to do that sort of thing. But for me, it's, it's that whole thing about the team being responsible and actually pushing out quality information, having that consistent setup um, to work in the best way, because we all know when team members change, etc. It's very disruptive to the team and all sort of that. So in projects, when you form, you're, you spe you're spending half your project getting your team to work together. Of course you're going to lose time. <laughs>